Namaste. You're right. The prana is separate from the breath. But in this mortal existence, the prana needs the breath for us to nourish and continue functioning mortally. An unborn child, the fetus, is in samadhi all the time. Why did I say so? During samadhi, and this is an idea I'd like to share with you, just casually it entered my mind. Yeah. An unborn child is able to survive without the breath. An unborn child yeah, is filled with the prana only. All right. At first, the, the fetus from its conception to about four months, yeah, the mother's prana, yeah, the vital force coming from the mother, yeah, is the one nourishing yeah, the growth yeah, of life. Yeah, but four months onwards, yeah, the unborn child, the fetus, yeah, the prana actually yeah, descends and then enters upon that life. Now, prana is God. All right. And this is so true in the samadhi, because during samadhi, yeah, yes, you're breathing. Yeah, let me just share my experience. Yeah. I'm breathing, but separate from the breath, the energy is actually acting differently. It's moving differently, opposite from the breath. Yes, I am breathing, yeah, but behind and inside the body, the energetic anatomy, the astral anatomy, there's something else happening. And that's the energy flowing in and out yeah, and nourishing the brain, exiting the brain, leaving the body while my mortal yeah, entity keeps breathing. Yeah. So it's like experiencing two worlds in one situation. You're breathing, you're attached to the mortal function, and yet you're experiencing some deep spiritual realms. And that is exactly yeah, what's happening <laughs> inside a mom's womb. Yeah, although the breath is, or the child is not yet breathing, but yeah, there's awareness already, there's consciousness already, yeah, brought about by the Spirit of God, the prana. So life is really a sacred, I say, uh, process. Yeah, conception is a sacred process because through that, we're able to yeah, manifest yeah, a nature which is godliness, yeah, sanctity, and divinity. Yeah. So it's not purely scientific, really, yeah, this evolution of life. Yeah, because conception actually yeah, uh, arises and gives way yeah, for God yeah, to yeah, become us and then us to experience and become or be united with God. Yeah, and that is the essence of meditation actually. Yeah. Yes, we're given this now gift to breathe and then the moment we breathe, actually the moment we learn how to breathe, Right after childbirth, the prana blends with the breath. Yeah. And then through maybe the rest of our mortal existence, yeah, that's just the normal course until that day of passing. Because then when we pass, yeah, as the breath stops, since the vital organs stop, the prana will separate again, yeah, and it will yeah, rise and then exit the crown of the head. Similarly, what happens during samadhi? But you experience that you know, while you are attached to your mortal existence. You experience, so to speak, the process of death, yeah, but you remain alive. You remain conscious. Yeah. So meditation is like that. It's like detaching again. Yeah, from this entanglement. Entanglement uh, because of um, our functions, our bodily functions, and this breathing function. 
And then when we're able now to learn the process of separating yeah, the spirit, the prana, the consciousness yeah, from the awareness, the physical awareness, then yeah, we can witness both realms. And that is samadhi. Right. And then this happens every night, actually, really. Yeah. We are not just aware consciously because we're sleeping. Yeah. In that moment where we're so deeply unconscious because of sleep, yeah, then randomly, once in a while, yeah, um, every night, actually, yeah, the spirit detaches. Yeah. And yeah, this is a process of rejuvenation. Yeah, so the spirit detaches, the energy, the prana detaches, and it will flow through our physical and energetic anatomy. And therefore, sometimes in my experience, like the jolting, yeah, because those are like instances where the energy, the electricity detaches, um, dreaming, yeah, those instances. Yeah. And then um, during, uh, for example, early hours of the morning, yeah, where you need to awake or sleep, you know, especially if you do your meditation in the early hours of the morning, breathing exercises, you might find yourself like drifting from falling to sleep, and then you come into this state like you're dreaming, but you're not dreaming because you know you're doing something. You know, so those are yeah, a few natural manifestations of the separation. Detachment. But once we become conscious, of course, now at the moment we function physically again, yeah, we lose this ability to feel yeah, the separation. Separation of the breath and uh, the spirit, but union of the spirit yeah, with yeah, the source, the self. Yeah. Just a random thought, a random idea I'd like to share with you. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.